The SS Rydam was built by Holland and Wolf for the Holland American Line and was laid down on November 23, 1899 at yard number 336. She was launched on May 18, 1901 and completed on October 3rd of that year. The ride dam's registered length was 550 feet and her depth was 26 feet. Her passenger accommodations had berths for 286 first class, 196 second class, and 1,800 third class passengers. The ride dam joined the Potsdam on Holland America's regular route between Rotterdam and New York via the Bordeline on her maiden voyage of October 10, 1901. By 1910, the Rye Dam was equipped with submarine signaling and the Marconi Company had equipped for, for wireless telegraphy. By 1913, her wireless telegraph car sign was MHY, but by 1914, it had been changed to PED. On May 25, 1915, the Norwegian fruit ship Joseph J. Conino collided with the Rye Dam in a fog about 10 nautical miles south of the Nantucket Shoals. The battleships USS Louisiana, Michigan, South Carolina, and Texas answered her distress call and rescued 78 passengers and 152 crew from the Rye Dam. On January 18, 1916, a mine laid by UC-1 damaged the Rye Dam in the Thames estuary. A U.S. single that was aboard reported that the lifeboats were lowered and passengers donned life jackets, but the ship was not abandoned. The ride jam was then repelled and on April 15th resumed her transatlantic sailings. On April 6, 1917, the U.S. declared war against the Central Powers. The Netherlands were neutral in the First World War, but on June 20th, 1917, the U.S. detained the Rye Dam, and she became one of the 89 Dutch ships that the United States Customs Service seized in March of 1918. 31 of these were commissioned into the U.S. Navy. The Rye Dam was converted into a troop ship with capacity for up to 3,000 troops. Dozens of collie floats were added to her life-saving equipment. She was armed with four 6-inch guns, two 1-pounder guns, and two machine guns, and commanded by John J. Hannigan. On July 31, 1920, the Rye Dam returned to commercial service between Rotterdam and New York. In May of 1925, she was refitted as a two-class ship, with cabin class replacing her first and second class accommodation. In May 1926, she was reverted to being a three-class ship again, but the classes were called Cabin, Taurus, and Third. On April 16, 1929, the Rye Dam left Rotterdam on her final voyage to New York. In May of that year, she was sold to Frank Rydex Industrial Enterprise, which scrapped her at Hendrik de Embeck.